Charles Spencer Chaplin Jr. was born on 16 April 1889 in Walworth, South London son of Hannah Chaplin and Charles Chaplin Sr. His paternal grandmother came from the Smith family, who belonged to Romani people. There is no official record of his birth, although Chaplin believed he was born at East Street, Walworth, in South London. Parents had married four years previously, at which time Charles Sr. became the legal guardian of Hannah's first son, Sidney John Hill. At the time of his birth, Chaplin's parents were both music hall entertainers. Hannah, the daughter of a shoemaker, had a brief and unsuccessful career under the stage name Lily Harley, while Charles Sr., a butcher's son, was a popular singer. Although they never divorced, Chaplin's parents were estranged by around 1891. The following year, Hannah gave birth to a third son, George Wheeler Dryden, fathered by the music hall entertainer Leo Dryden. The child was taken by Dryden at six months old, and did not re-enter Chaplin's life for 30 years. Chaplin's childhood was fraught with poverty and hardship, making his eventual trajectory the most dramatic of all the rags-to-riches stories ever told, according to his authorized biographer David Robinson. Chaplin's early years were spent with his mother and brother Sidney in the London district of Kennington. Hannah had no means of income other than occasional nursing and dressmaking, and Chaplin Sr provided no financial support. As the situation deteriorated, Chaplin was sent to Lambeth Workhouse when he was seven years old. The council housed him at the Central London District School for Paupers, which Chaplin remembered as a forlorn existence. He was briefly reunited with his mother 18 months later, before Hannah was forced to readmit her family to the workhouse in July 1898. The boys were promptly sent to Norwood Schools, another institution for destitute children. In September 1898, Hannah was committed to Cane Hill Hospital Mental Asylum. She had developed a psychosis, seemingly brought on by an infection of syphilis and malnutrition. For the two months she was there, Chaplin and his brother Sidney were sent to live with their father, whom the young boys scarcely knew. Charles Sr. was by then a severe alcoholic, and life there was bad enough to provoke a visit from the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. Chaplin's father died two years later, at 38 years old, from cirrhosis end stage of the liver. Hannah entered a period of remission but, in May 1903, became ill again. Chaplin, then 14, had the task of taking his mother to the infirmary, from where she was sent back to Cane Hill. He lived alone for several days, searching for food and occasionally sleeping rough, until Sidney, who had joined the Navy two years earlier, returned. Hannah was released from the asylum eight months later, but in March 1905, her illness returned, this time permanently. There was nothing we could do but accept poor mother's fate, Chaplin later wrote, and she remained in care until her death in 1928. Between his time in the poor schools and his mother succumbing to mental illness, Chaplin began to perform on stage. He later recalled making his first amateur appearance at the age of five years, when he took over from Hannah one night in Aldershot. This was an isolated occurrence, but by the time he was nine Chaplin had, with his mother's encouragement, grown interested in performing. He later wrote, she imbued me with the feeling that I had some sort of talent. Through his father's connections, Chaplin became a member of the eight Lancashire Lads Clog Dancing Troupe, with whom he toured English music halls throughout 1899 and 1900. Chaplin worked hard, and the act was popular with audiences, but he was not satisfied with dancing and wished to form a comedy act. Chaplin soon found work with a new company and went on tour with his brother, who was also pursuing an acting career, in a comedy sketch called Repairs. In May 1906, Chaplin joined the juvenile act Casey's Circus, where he developed popular burlesque pieces and was soon the star of the show. By the time the act finished touring in July 1907, the 18-year-old had become an accomplished comedic performer. He struggled to find more work, however, and a brief attempt at a solo act was a failure. Chaplin began by playing a series of minor parts, eventually progressing to starring roles in 1909. In April 1910, he was given the lead in a new sketch, Jimmy the Fearless. It was a big success, and Chaplin received considerable press attention. Shortly after the publication of his memoirs, Chaplin began work on A Countess from Hong Kong, 1967, a romantic comedy based on a script he had written for Paulette Goddard in the 1930s. A Countess from Hong Kong premiered in January 1967, to unfavorable reviews, and was a box office failure. Chaplin was deeply hurt by the negative reaction to the film, which turned out to be his last. By October 1977, Chaplin's health had declined to the point that he needed constant care. 
In the early morning of Christmas Day 1977, Chaplin died at home after having a stroke in his sleep. He was 88 years old. The funeral, on the 27th of December, was a small and private Anglican ceremony. According to his wishes, Chaplin left more than $100 million to his widow. On the 1st of March 1978, Chaplin's coffin was dug up and stolen from its grave by Roman Wardas and Ganchogana. The body was held for ransom in an attempt to extort money from his widow, Una Chaplin. The pair were caught in a large police operation in May, and Chaplin's coffin was found buried in a field in the nearby village of Novel. It was reinterred in the Corsier Cemetery in a reinforced concrete vault.